Monte will finish first. The magic number is 215. And Belmonte will add to a potential Hall of Fame resume. Defend his Masters title. Go back to back in the majors, including the Tournament of Champions. He needs to fill 14 pins in this frame. If he opens, EJ Tackett can strike out and win. Whoa! That one got a little extra air time, a little extra hand, and the 10 pin fell extremely late. That was very close. This has been some of the most interesting matches in a major I've ever seen. Down to a knee. Part of the work is done. He's got to stay behind the foul line, keep it on the lane, and knock down four pins. The man from down under sporting his usual facial fescue finds a way to get it done. Check out the airtime on this. This has got a ton of side rotation, cuts through, goes a little bit heavy, only leaving the four pin. So it's a spare ball down the middle, winner. Bowling fans, you have a repeat USBC Masters champion. His name is Jason Belmonte. If I can just win that first match, I have a chance to run the stepladder. Now, big four. Stoper finished tenth in the United States Open. Butch, as I said, as we reviewed the top 24, mm -hmm. won 26 consecutive games without missing a spare. That's great going, Butch. I'm sure you're looking forward to going up to Toronto to garner some of that cash as we have a new King of the Hill champion right here, Del Ballard Jr. Uh, Butch was born way too late. He could have. Uh, been in Frank Esposito's Make That Spare show and made a ton. Yes, you could have. Back uh, some 25 years ago, there's some big cash for making spares. However, it still pays dividends. And you can always shoot 190, right? That's like uh, the great giant baseball player Bobby Thompson. The first time I played golf with him, he said, if you get a five on every hole, you'll shoot 90. <laughs> so, you know. performance by Del Ballard Jr. It's the third time you've done it. Edwards with games of 266, 224, and 207, a 697 series. Moved in a little bit. Just wanted to make sure he kept it on the lane. That's all he needed right now. That's enough right there. Well, we'll remind you, of course, that Albie becomes the fifth millionaire. And if he brings down this $43,000 first prize, he will set a new single season earnings mark. In and oh, two and I got it. He says that's two and I got it. Two eleven to two oh seven. Mike Albee wins the eighty nine American Bowling Congress Bud Light Masters title. Well, here is the last shot, Al. <laughs> Look at Mike. He's yeah okay. <laughs> And you would think that he would just be trying to get it on the right side of that hip in there, and he just barely hit the hip in on the left. 
I'm trying to figure out the score. What would happen if he'd have missed all three? It, it would have been, been a tie. tie. Yep, it would have been a tie. Here's the reaction from the champion. Two is all I need. I got it, didn't I? There it is. <laughs> Did I win? Two more. Potential 290. And remember how well Ron Palumbi bowled last year, 269, to capture the title for the U.S. Open in the championship game. Yeah. Keeps mowing him down. Opened with a... In the first frame and strikes the rest of the way. And a winner. It's interesting. Pete Weber is going to win. He's cashed 14 of 14. He'll go to the Firestone 15. He'll serve his six-month suspension, and he still feels that he has a chance for player of the year if he comes back in the fall strike. Yeah. There's a man to catch. And he, he, like Marshall Holman, has won his second United States Open title. See you next week in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. The executive producer of ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Bowlers Tour is Jeffrey Mason. Produced by Carol Letty. Directed by Larry Cam. Associate director... Gotta have the strike. Simon Sand. Yes! And now seven. What a finish. Yeah, baby. He's got eight. What a finish. And he has won the 2022 USBC Masters. Anthony Simonson does it again. The satisfying moment of the match sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Two majors for Simonson in 2022. Now I know we're one and one. I can live with that one.